Hi, this is Guy Wallace. If your instructional analysis didn't uncover the process performance requirements or the process itself, then you won't be able to share that with your learners so that they can be on the lookout for that being adequate or not before they start and what to do about it if and when they confront any inadequacies in that enabler of the performance. The process itself is important and learners who are performers back on the job need to anticipate and deal with issues regarding the process itself, such as does it adequately fit all situations or might it need to be adjusted, adapted for certain situations? Or is it too rigorous and not flexible where it needs to be? Is there guidance provided for typical non-standard situations and the appropriate responses? Of course, if you're just shoveling content to learners on topics versus authentic task performance, leading to worthy outputs that meet stakeholder requirements, then it doesn't really matter anyway, does it? But it should matter because you shouldn't be shoveling topics with face validity when you could be sharing how to perform tasks to produce outputs with authentic performance validity. Understanding what's needed regarding the standard process and viable alternatives is critical to initial learning in formal instructional means, whether via job aids and or training, and also learning later in both social and informal learning means, and the learner's ultimate success back on the job. And isn't that what it's all about? Performance requires much more than just knowledge and skills about task performance. Go for performance.